So let's see what's coming your way, Pisces, and it better be good because we are kind of done with the coffee day. So let's see. Let's see. And I hope I'm not make, making too much noise in your ears. I know some of you got bothered by it. But let's see. And of course, I, as I shuffle the cards, I would much appreciate it for you to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Only if you feel like, right? And, um... Pisces, let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. The most important one. And we do have Ten of Wands and we have the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. What's going on, baby? Um, well, and Seven of Swords, I'm, I don't know, right? I don't know, I'm just saying. Because we might have um knight of swords right of course can be a gemini libra or aquarius but i'm i kind of feel um pisces that we might have um taken action too quickly and now we are in, and in a way that we are not very proud of um because we do have the seven of swords we are not very proud it was maybe too fast maybe too impulsive we might have created pain and burdens or somebody did that to you, right? Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Of course, this is also the universe way of saying it is over. Ten, that is no eleven. So this one is, I mean, over, over, over and the only way is up. But again, we have the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. It is concerning something that um, we prefer it to stay in the shadows, right? We don't want this. We don't want the Seven of Swords energy in the light, you know. Uh, we are not uh, happy with how it went down. Um, but let's see what this is all about. So past energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for the rest of September. You, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. A new beginning. So let's see what this is all about. So in the past, we do have the Five of Cups and the Eight of Wands. I know that there is a sense of action. Pisces, Eight of Wands is the energy of getting things moving knight of swords is a lot of um kind of a warrior kind of action and with the eight of wands i believe it was an abrupt movement that we might have um taken an abrupt decision something that went like you know um too fast too quick and there is a sense of regret and there is a sense of i don't want to look at it right we do have the five of cups um regrets and feeling responsible and we have the Seven of Swords. I hope nobody's watching. I hope uh, nobody noticed, right? And uh, in quick and quick, it's kind of like ending too quick, like something. And then, you know, when we realize, oh, maybe, you know, maybe I should have. Um, this is how it feels. Maybe you asked for things to change. Now this person of yours, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Seven of Pentacles, they've been patient. If you ask them, they would say, how many times I closed my eyes and I prayed for this to be gone, you know, kind of, or for the time, uh, for the time to pass, um, you know, um, more, I would say, rapidly, so that whatever has to end, ends. Um, and this energy of I've been so patient with Pisces so many times in their ways, their impulsive ways or their, you know, kind of um, we do and then we feel sorry about, we say and then we apologize or that is that kind of dynamic, you know. And then at some point we said that's enough, ten of swords, ten of wands, people got hurt in the process by words, by action and by the heaviness of the energy, the dynamics, <clears throat> the impulsiveness. And that is seven, seven of Swords is the overall energy. I'm not feeling other people. I'm not feeling a third party or whatever. I'm just um, picking up on. 
on somebody being tired with forgiving and forgetting and starting all over again. We do have the Five of Wands and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this is the energy of passionate fights. This is the energy of competition, petty fights. It, it's the energy of, you know, just being nervous. You know that energy where we wake up, um, well, I thank God I don't have it. I'm, I'm blessed. But, you know, sometimes people wake up and they feel so annoyed that they feel like, you know, ruining somebody's life. <laughs> it feels like this, you know, page of wands, five of wands is like, I am in for a hell of a fight, you know. And it's the only thing that calms me down. It's to go to the bottom of it, you know. <laughs> it's, that's the energy. Passionately fighting because we believe in something, because it's overwhelming um, emotions, because, because, because we stand our ground for a million, million reasons. And it kind of feels like this. And, and, uh, and of course, maybe it was you being patient about. We um, have the Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, the nurturing energy. Um, and believing right in the other person when they don't believe in themselves that's a you know the energy of family of home of giving chances um, feeling responsible and doing what's right so um, and it's interesting the mirroring effect right um, we can be kind to somebody and and then they realize and they respond back so this is how we get uh, the five of cups I feel sorry for what I've done right um, so Pisces, where are we right now? We do have the King of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. This is the energy of groundiness and reciprocation, the energy of balance, of justice and fairness. And again, if this connection is one of those connections where we, on an impulse, we leave home and, you know, it's like I'm done, 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 and then we get grounded and say, mm, maybe it was too quick, and then we, we go knocking on the door and wanting to be uh, received again home, right? kind of feels that kind of energy um, it's also the energy of seeing a little bit more clear having the priority straight being being um, open to compromise being um, you know open to uh, bring a sense of um, justice and um, to the home and the and the family now this person they have the world and the king of wands so um, it is if you are dealing with a fire sign or you have fire in your chart they have fire in their chart this is the energy of endings, right? They have an ending on their hands at this time. If you left, they feel like, you know, this is it, this is over. And I know it's the energy of happy endings. I'm not feeling the energy of a, of a happy ending. It's just accepting that this might be it, you know, this might be over. And, um, you know, if it's a fire sign, this is them taking their fire back and and being themselves uh, in the process, allowing and accepting and, and, and rolling with it, right? Um, and on your side, of course, can be a fire sign with an earth sign, but I do love the king on your side, king on their side, right? We are taking control again, and we feel in control, and we have a plan. It's the, it's the most developed energies of, of, of the suite we, we, we are in, and you have pentacles here on your side, the energy of family and groundness, and the energy of passion on their side, so... Mutual energy, standing our ground and blocking both of you, seven of wands and nine of wands. It's kind of the energy that's it, I'm done. Um, it is also the energy I'm hurt, so I need time for myself, for both of you. It is the energy of being exhausted. It's uh, all with the five of wands, the page of wands, nine of wands, seven of wands. It's a lot of exhaustion and, and a need to restore energies. And we also have the ten of wands. So we went to, we stretched this connection to the max. Um, if you're asking me, in terms of energies we receive, it was stretched uh, at the max and, and it's kind of normal that we need just a little bit of groundiness and nature on your side. And on their side, just a little bit of, I have to be open again. I have, to, you know, seeing that they need to look to the future uh, for answers or for new energies. Energy coming your way, Pisces, you do have the strength and the two of wands. Crossroads and choosing from a place of power. Uh, this is also Leo energy. Um, this is you, uh, maybe for some of you, choosing a Leo or having a Leo coming your way. Um, but honestly, I feel this is again your energy, taking your power back, tam taming yourself, being on your best behavior. This is the energy of taming the 
um, the de I don't want to say the devil, but you know the energy, the beast, the energy of the beast inside of us, pushing us to to um, take impulsive action and and do or say something that we are not very proud afterwards. So it's a beautiful energy coming, and we have the energy of two of wands, right? And it's it's a beautiful energy. It's the energy of expansion of vision, of looking into the future and staying strong and hopeful for the future. Beautiful energy. Uh, now this person of yours, um, Pisces, the Four of Wands and the Tower, they might give up. They might give up. Um, this is the energy of a marriage being blown away. This is the energy of surprising, um, you know, acceptance of a separation. We have the world in the tower, so we kind of know this is over, uh, Pisces. Either this is you, either this is the person you are dealing with. Uh, but somebody here is quite aware that this is over and, um, you know, the only way is to be fair, to be just, to follow the rules and the law. We have the King of Swords, take a counselor and the Page of Wands. Endings and new beginnings, right? Coming from the same um, uh, place here and I um, and we also have new beginnings with the Ace of Pentacles here, right over the Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. So, uh, Pisces, this is pretty much over. Uh, I'm not seeing love. And uh, what's the point if there is no love? Um, I do see a sense of fairness. Six of Pentacles, King of Swords. A sense of law, a sense of um, justice, a sense of karma. A sense of making the right decisions from a place of, of kindness. A place of, I'm not going to seek revenge. I'm only going to seek what I need to get. Right? And on their side, it's, um, it is, you know, the explosion is on their side, but we know when a, when a separation happens, I mean, it impacts both partners and, um, um, but I would say more the, uh, it's on their side, the world and the tower in sense of either they receive or it's accepting, allowing either this is, um, uh, maybe surprising or with a, um, a final decision of no, thank you. We're gonna we're gonna go separate ways. I now have the papers signed, so that kind of energy. Now let's ask for some guidance here. Let's see what we need to do. We do have make the effort. Um, great love um, is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So there is something about this situation that you need to make an effort about. We do have keep an open mind. So probably the effort that you need to make in this situation um, to keep an open mind. And I'm more hearing compromise and meeting the person halfway. You know, you might have expectations. They might not be met 100%. So what can you give and what can you take? And bottom of the deck, you deserve love. You are lovable. So make the effort in this situation to keep an open mind and remember that you deserve love. And this reading and this energy around here, I'm not seeing energies of love, I'm seeing energies of endings. So, What else? We do have completion, yin and yang. So it was a beautiful energy where you completed each other. It's the energy of masculine and feminine. Is the energy of together being um, right um, somehow um, like a whole one, one identity right we also have keep an open mind creativity so this situation whatever you are going through requires not only being creative but also being open to um, compromise and you deserve love and love again in the ace of pentacles it's kind of like the universe guiding you right the universe is guiding you to, um, I'm, I'm sensing more self-love, um, Pisces, but again, you take it as it uh, resonates to you. We also have Ace of Pentacles as a new beginning here. And we have you at the crossroads and in need to make a choice there. Now let's see. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry, that is one of my crystals going, um, going a little bit nuts there. <laughs> Now let's see the energies that we need to put back into the flow. Let's need, let's see which ones. So we do have grief, 
of course we release we don't put it back into the into the flow so I, under, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it so this is how we need to look at this uh, at this point we have success i know that there is no greater goal than to love i kind of disagree with the grief energy once we lose something we appreciate it i'm i don't know right so success i know that there is no greater goal than love we do have doubt i release the need to know all the answers so this is um, what we put back into the flow here we release doubt you deserve love and then you have self-esteem i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others this is how we activate self-esteem again um by says by saying um you know under your breath all through the day i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others bottom of the deck we do have surrendered to the wisdom of your body this is all about your intuition so listen to your body's messages about a person or situation if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable be cautious if you are energized and happy move forward the whole reading is about moving forward and i and i love how they um you know after a whole reading saying well where is the love and you know we need to solve this problem or have this ending with an open mind now the universe is kind of saying but still you know you know you know you know all this so um and ten of swords ten of wands right it's um time to see to be open to new beginnings it's, it's time to see the light at the end of the tunnel um so Pisces this is all that I have for you guys you know I love you I wish you nothing but the best I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care